Woo! Hey, yeah! Look who it is. Hey, let's take a minute today to talk about an ignition system on a small engine. Let's get to the basics. I'm going to explain it in the most simplistic way. All right, fellas, let's get in here and see what we got. We got our flywheel. We got our coil magnet. Pick, pick your term, stick with it. I'm gonna call it my coil, my HT lead, spark plug, and a wire grounding it back to the body. But where does that spark come from, folks? What's in here? What's going on? On the flywheel side, we've got a magnet right here on top. As that flywheel rotates around, that magnet, it's got a north pole and a south pole. All them terms get hard for me to work with. We got, that, look, if you really want the science behind this, I'm gonna have to stop, I'm gonna change how I'm gonna do this right now. If you want the real science behind all this, go research it. I'm gonna make this simple. Here's what happens. You're just gonna have to take my word on this is how it happens. Here we go. All right, flywheel turns. We got a magnet here. Y'all know what lives in magnets? Fairies live in magnets. Well, when them magnets get spinning around, they come by here, them, them fairies are mad. Well, inside this box right here, this coal box, these is pixies. Well, when these fairies come flying around, they yell obscenities to these pixies and it makes them mad and they get to flapping their wings and rubbing together and, and it ignites an electric charge each time this comes by bam electric charge mad matter now that electric charge builds up inside of the coil and is pushed they just line up they swell up and they push each other down here but they need to be able to go to ground they can't do it I don't know how that works. Flywheel rotates, magnet comes past the pickups on the coil, ignites the, you know I ain't smart enough to do this video. I know how it works, I just don't know all the big words. I mean, I understand the theory. We got a North Pole and a South Pole. So, they are posing as they come by. One's pushing, one's pulling. Hear me out, think about it. All right, there's two coils of wire inside this box right here. There's an inner coil and an outer coil. There's also an iron core that runs through the center of them. And, yeah, I'm, hey, I'm liking the pixie theory much better. So, listen, let's just see it fire off. Spark's going to jump the ground. Boom, ignition. Boom. We got power, folks. We need that turn around 250, at least 250, or close to 250 RPMs to get that thing to fire up. See if we can get that pitch spark. Oh yeah. All right, I, I, I don't want to tell you. There's a lot of scientific terms and things that Bruce the Dust don't know. I understand what they're talking about, but I'm having a hard time relaying it to you. So here's what you're gonna do. You want a real scientific explanation of what's going on. Ain't no fairies involved in that business. Check out the repair specialist. I'm gonna leave a link below to a video. He does a fantabulistic job of explaining how this works. Uh, me, not so well. So if you're still not quite understanding how this works, there's no wonder. But thanks for tuning in and checking it out. I hope you got something out of it. If you didn't, yeah, I, I get you. I'm, I'm with you on that. 
Oh, we'll do better next time. We'll see you. Bye now. <laughs> what the devil is that? Oh, I got a big old visitor at the shop. Look at that rascal now. Oh, God. Oof. <laughs>